Hi, I'm John with Tax TV. Here to highlight some of the savings available under the General Business Credit, a tax code section that bundles a number of credits. This is done to create some uniformity in the application of dollar limits, carrybacks, and carry forwards. In general, the credit cannot exceed the net income tax minus the greater of either the tentative minimum tax or 25% of the net regular tax liability that is more than $25,000. However, some of the credits that fall within the general business credit have special limitations. If these limitations apply, you can generally carry any excess back to the preceding year or carry it forward to the following 20 years. When you have carry forwards and carry backs, it's important to apply them in proper order. First, apply any carry forwards, the earliest ones first. Then apply the credits earned in that year. Lastly, apply any carry back credits. There are also specific ordering rules for the credits themselves. Check the instructions for IRS Form 3800 to view the order. The credit can be taken by individuals or passed through to individuals from partnerships, S-corporations, estates, and trusts. Some of the credits listed under the general business credit encourage the use of various forms of energy, such as hybrid or plug-in vehicles and biodiesel and renewable diesel fuels. There are also credits to hire new employees, including the Work Opportunity Credit, Indian Employment Credit, and the New Hire Retention Credit. Some credits may apply to many business owners, such as the employer provided child care facilities credit, and others are more specific, like the qualified railroad track maintenance credit or the distilled spirits credit. For more information about all the credits available under the general business credit, check out taxtv.com.